Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you. Um, this week, we're going to just, we're going to take a look at, we're going to ask some questions from your person's perspective as though they were asking you these questions, okay? So you'll get what I mean as we go here, um, but we're going to start off with couple of oracle cards and in some way you might find yourself a little bit challenged around these two things maybe within yourself maybe within the connection or the relationship or the interest whatever it is all right so we're going to start here what do we have freedom this is so interesting because this has come up so many times. Um, I'm always amazed how that seems to happen. So you might be struggling in some way with freedom within this connection or relationship or within yourself. Um, you know, that's, that's the challenge. And then the lesson here is you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So you might feel restricted in some way in your connection, or you might feel there are limitations around you in some way, when that really, the limitations that you are experiencing are probably something that you're imposing on yourself in some way, okay? So it might be about a change in perspective. What do we have here? We have present. Okay, so this is so, so important. I talk a lot about being present in so many of my general readings and in my personal readings. Um, you might be challenged staying present, and I find that this is a big thing, especially for women for some reason. Having a difficult time being present, their minds are always racing, always thinking about the past, always thinking about you know, the future, where we're going to be, how it's going to work out, when being present is really where your power is. So you're struggling with that in some way. The lesson here is you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. That's all that matters is what is happening today. That creates your tomorrow and all of your tomorrows. So that is something that you might be struggling with right now. All right, so let's get into your reading. The first question is very simple. How are you doing? How are you doing right now? How are you really doing? Okay, let's see. How is Pisces doing right now? Ten of Wands in the reverse. Um, you might be thinking about ending something, or you're dealing with an ending, or you want to see an ending happen in some way, possibly not between you and your person, possibly outside of your connection but you spend a lot of your energy focusing on an ending. All right, so let's see, what else do we have here? We have the Emperor card of Aries. Okay, what else? And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so when we're asking the question, how are you doing? We talked about the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse says that you might be seen right now as being very shut down. When the Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, she's very nurturing, very giving, very authentic. This doesn't feel like your normal energy, all right? So when we're asking how you're doing, it, it feels like you might be very... Um, you might have tunnel vision about wanting to see an ending in some way, okay? And at the same time, you're, 
It's like you're shutting down who you authentically are in some way. Why are you doing that? Possibly um, with this emperor here. This could be about a particular masculine. Okay, it could be about an Aries. Um, Queen of Pentacles is card of Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, but I feel like you are, you might be shutting down communication. You can see that this Emperor card here has the blue around it, which is about communication. It's the throat chakra. And this card here is the third eye chakra. It, it's like you don't want to see something. You may not want to see possibly a hard road ahead. You might have to do something that you don't want to do, okay, um, when it comes to a particular ending or somebody else's ending, uh, something like that. But I feel like you're trying to control the situation by shutting down communication, not wanting to really face something, not wanting to really look at something. So you might be going through a little bit of a rough time right now. So the next question is, what is on your mind right now? What are you thinking about? Let's see. What are you thinking about? Six of Cups. All right, so Six of Cups in the upright always positive really um you know you might be thinking about sweeter times with your person you might be thinking about when you met you might be thinking about how the connection has evolved into something deeper um you might be very reminiscent about somebody that you might have experienced an ending with or you are anticipating an ending of some kind you know, and that's possibly where this freedom card comes in to play. You might be resisting freedom, your freedom. Uh, somebody might be giving you your freedom. Uh, you know, I feel like um, this might be about freedom from a situation that you, you are trying to maneuver or trying to get through that isn't necessarily pleasant for you. Um, but I do feel like you spend a lot of time thinking about your feelings, okay, and how they have evolved, how your connection has evolved, and possibly there might be a situation where you're thinking and feeling about somebody that isn't presently in your life that you might be nostalgic for, all right? So what do we have here? Let's see. Princess of Wands, Page of Wands. Okay. This could be about, you know, the pages are about communication. If this, um, if your person is not around you, you might be feeling like you want to express yourself from the heart. Okay. The green is heart chakra expressing yourself from the heart, sharing um, sharing something with this person. I feel like, I almost feel like this would be a message delivered in person. I feel like you feel that that's important, that it would have to be in person. All right. And then what else do we have here? Four of Cups. So both in the heart chakra here, you know, I feel like you're thinking about where your heart is at when it comes to this person. The Four of Cups could mean that you regret something uh, or that you are just, you know, with the, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Cups, you know, you could feel in some way rejected. You might feel... Um, there could have been a, a breakup here because there's that nostalgic and en en that nostalgic energy and the ten of wands in the reverse, which indicates an ending of some kind that you're dealing with. Or for some of you, you might be hoping for that. 
You might be hoping for somebody else to end a relationship or a connection. Um, it might be about you ending a relationship or a connection. Um, but, you know, I feel like when it comes to what you're thinking about, you know, you're thinking about, you know, this cup of love here. The Ace of Cups always lingers in the Four of Cups. It's like you still have a cup of love for somebody that I feel like isn't in your life right now. Okay, and you spend a lot of time thinking about good times, nostalgic um, memories, maybe sp uh, the special parts of the connection that you can't find with anybody else. All right, so what is it that is in your heart right now or what are you feeling right now? Let's see, Pisces, Four of Swords. All right, so Pisces, you're doing a lot of thinking, all right? A lot of contemplating. Fours are very contemplative energy. You know, again, another card of possibly being on a break from somebody um, or taking some time out. This can be overthinking too. You might be overthinking a situation versus doing anything about it. The only, you know, the action um, cards seem to be over here. Uh, you know, I feel like you would like to have a conversation with this person uh, um, in person, but at the same time, I feel like you're controlling the communication with this person. So, I feel like if you're going to have that face-to-face -face with the, this person, it's going to be up to you to make that happen. What do we have here? Ace of Pentacles, which is the Ace of Coins in this deck. So you feel like whoever this is that we're talking about, you still have intentions. You might have a hard time admitting that to yourself, you might have a hard time saying that out loud that this is what I want. I do have intentions to possibly build something with you. I don't know what went wrong here. This isn't, this, uh, this reading really isn't showing me what actually went wrong here. Um, let's see what else. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You might be a very afraid to open the door again to this connection. Something might have, you know, really went sideways for you in this connection and you're afraid to open up the, the door. Um, you have fear around opening up the door to this connection again. Um, talking about it out loud. That comes out um, very strongly to me that it would be difficult for you to admit something right now and but you certainly have a lot of feelings around this person whoever that person is so the last question this person would ask you is do you believe in this connection do you believe in me do you believe in this person so far it feels like you do but I'm not really getting the energy of you really doing anything about it. All right, so let's see. Temperance in the reverse. You feel like something needs to happen before I feel like you will speak up. It might be on your end. It might be on this other person's end. You might feel like somebody needs to come your way. I'm feeling kind of the opposite energy, honestly, because, you know, right up front here with the emperor, with communication, <clears throat> I feel like you are controlling the communication. So I feel like in this particular reading, in this particular story, it feels like it's up to you, all right? And I do feel like you're not on the same page there with me. Seven of Cups. 
Hmm. That's so interesting. Let's get in the chariot. Hmm. So when we're asking, when this person is asking, do you believe in this connection? Um, You feel that something, I feel like you feel that something on their end needs to happen before, before this could work out. The chariot in the upright says that you do want to move towards what you consider to be your, your heart's desire, which could be this person. But... We've got the, the Seven of Cups here. You know, it's funny. It's like, I feel like you want this person, but you don't want to admit it. All right? It's almost like you want whoever this person is to realize that you have a lot of options, a lot of choices in love. You might be dealing with somebody who is connected to somebody else, or you yourself might be connected to somebody else and it's hard for you to, to speak up about what it is that you might want. But it's like, I almost feel like you're angry for wanting the person that you want. Like it feels inconvenient. It feels like maybe the two of you don't have the freedom to be the couple that you want to be. And where it's really solved is in the moment. I feel very much that you spend a lot of time, Six of Cups, in the past, thinking about the good times. I do feel like you spend a lot of time thinking about the good times, which is good. Um, the future, Six of Pentacles, you know, it's like you don't know that you want to open the door to all of this again. Um, and I feel strongly like it's like you want this to work and at the same time you're angry that it's not working. So do you believe in this connection? I feel like you do, but I feel like you're angry about it, you know, and when you're angry about something, when you're thinking about something that you're, you know, not happy about or it takes you out of the present, you know, you, you want to spend time either beating yourself up for something that happened or beating somebody else up for something that happened or being angry about a situation that just happens to be what it is. It doesn't have to change the, the love and the feelings that you have for this person. Nobody's situation is perfect, right? So you might be going through some, some challenges in this relationship and it's a bump in the relationship and it's about a little bit kind of forgiving yourself, whatever it is for the past, not necessarily focusing so much on the future, but Allowing yourself to want this person, allowing yourself to love this person regardless will, I feel like will free up your energy, will shift your energy. Because I do, I feel like you're, you want somebody or you love somebody, but you're, it's like you're mad that you want them, which is a weird feeling to get. So, Let's see, what would you say to this person? What would you say to this person? Okay, so this is throat chakra energy. Um, you would say or admit your issues and challenges. Maybe this is something that you hid from somebody, okay? Um, 
this I feel like is really, might be really difficult for you. Okay, we've got that emperor in the blue, which is about controlling communication. Um, I don't feel like this is something that you would be super comfortable talking about, but it might be something that's necessary to release your own anger about the situation. Okay, what do we have here? All right, this is the, the um, solar plexus, the yellow, and this is coming from a place of I can. So it's, I can be my own worst enemy. Okay, maybe you know that about yourself. Maybe this is something that you beat up yourself about, okay? And that is the energy that you've got to get out of. You can't be present in a loving energy and be beating yourself up about being your own worst enemy. If you know this about yourself, okay, and a lot of us do this, right? A, a lot of people do that. Um, if you know that about yourself, stop it. Stop doing that. Stop being your own worst enemy because it isn't serving you. And what do we have here? All right, I love the sexy way you move. All right, so this is about you watching your person, admiring your person. Um, you know, you think they're sexy, you think they're attractive. Um, this is the heart chakra, the green. Uh, you know, this is you saying that you love the way that they move. You notice subtle things about this person. You want this person. And at the same time, you know, there might be something that you have to admit to this person or admit to yourself, right? The sooner you do that, it washes everything away. I feel like whoever your person is, would be extremely receptive and forgiving, okay? All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great week, all right? Thanks so much. Bye.